Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY and it's in collaboration with Sue over at Discovering the Art of Living. It's her YouTube channel. And for this Christmas season, she is hosting 12 Christmas movie themed collaborations, which are open to anyone who would like to participate. Just go to her channel to read the rules and you'll be able to participate. And with each movie theme, there's a special hashtag playlist and all you have to do is after you're done viewing my video follow that hashtag playlist and view the other participants and let me tell you there's some great talent in this playlist there are people that paint do crafts they draw they act all kinds of things so please be sure to follow the playlist and for this theme the hashtag is Miracle on 34th Street collab. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take four of these jumbo popsicle sticks and I'm going to use my EMT shears to snip off the curved edges and I'm going to cut them to approximately five inches or so. And now I'm going to glue them, glue them together using the remnant pieces of the popsicle sticks to help join them together. And now I'm gonna take some of these tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to take eight and glue them all together with some um, tacky glue. And I'm going to take another eight and do the same. And I'll glue both sets of blocks together. And now I'm gonna take two more of the jumbo popsicle sticks and I'm gonna take my EMT shears and I'm going to snip off the rounded edges and also create some notches in the center of each popsicle stick and I'm going to create these notches so I can join them together like a puzzle kind of so this is going to be a street sign if you haven't figured it out this is going to be the miracle on 34th street sign street sign and now I'm going to add some hot glue to make sure that, that all my joints are nice and secured. And now I'm going to trim off a little piece of one end because it's not looking like an X. Now it's looking like an X. So now I'm taking my EMT shears again and I'm going to cut a couple notches on a wooden dowel that I had left over from another project. So now I'm just going to make sure it's going to fit on there. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I get it on there. Add a little bit of glue to help secure it all and it works pretty well. And now I'm taking one of my laundry clips from the Dollar Tree to keep everything snug and tight while it dries. So that way I don't have to sit there and hold it all day. Because <laughs> sometimes hot glue takes a little bit a little bit of time to adhere properly and I don't have that kind of time. I want to get going. So I'm going back to my, my little chair. If you haven't figured out what this is, this is going to be Santa's chair. So this is his backrest for his chair and I'm going to trim it with my EMT, my EMT shears and I'm going to curve the top part a little bit to make it look a little bit fancy. And I'm just tripping, trimming some of the wood off, try to get it all evenly and proportioned, which is not easy, but you know, got to keep going back and got to look at it until we get it. Okay. So now we're ready to glue the backrest to the seat and I'm using the Elaine tacky glue again because it works really well on, on wood. And I'm also going to go in with some hot glue. And so I'm just going to hold it on there for a minute. And again, I just don't have the patience to sit there and hold it. And a clip really won't work on this. So I'm having to kind of 
balance it a little bit and hold it and hope it just dries quickly so I ended up just setting it aside and went back to my sign so now I'm going to finish adding some of the glue to help secure the other two sides that I didn't add the glue some on the bottom where the cut was made so now I'm going to go back try to go back to my chair but it's not quite ready yet so I'm just going to set it back aside and I'm going to work on the legs the legs of the chair so I'm going to take two of these smaller wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to measure they are approximately six inches so I figure about halfway for each one will give me four legs so at three inch mark I will cut them with my miter shears and they snip off real easy with the miter shears so I just snip them off so now I have four legs for my chair so I'm gonna try and go back to my chair it's not quite dry but oh I gotta get to it I gotta get working so I proceed to add the legs to the chair and so I just add them with some glue some hot glue and in a minute you'll see the first leg begin to fall and again it's because I'm being impatient <laughs> but yeah this is quite comical <laughs> first I thought oh I'm gonna cut all this out I can't let them see this but hey I'm gonna keep it real for you guys this is <laughs> there goes the other one <laughs> This is how it goes sometimes. <laughs> anyway, they finally dried up enough where it stayed still. So now I'm going to go in and add more glue, more hot glue to all the other joints and edges to help secure everything better. And I'm going to also do the big crack in the center, but I'm going to help secure that with more popsicle stick the, the other pieces the other remnant pieces of the popsicle sticks that I still had left over I'll utilize those to help secure and give strength to the center so that is my plan and that's what I'm going to do <laughs> and it works it works well <laughs> and at this point most of the glue is is drying a little bit better so <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to get done. I just, when I get excited about doing a project, who has time to sit and wait for stuff to dry? Oh, goodness. <laughs> so see, this works. This works for me. Now everything's more secure. And I can proceed. <laughs> and the legs are looking pretty good. I'm just going to add a couple beads of glue to help secure that as well. Around the perimeter of the bottom. And that's it. I'm pretty much done with the chair. I just got to paint it. So now I'm going to go in with some red chalk paint from Waverly and in the crimson color. And I'm just going to paint this real quick. And I sped it up pretty quickly so it won't take long. But look at this. I am a fast painter. <laughs> I love when I get to speed up footage. It's just so, it's so satisfying. It's like, yes, that's how, that's how fast it was. Yeah, right. <laughs> Probably took me about, I don't know, five minutes to paint this. And here it's like a minute. <laughs> hey, if only, if only life were, would be like this. So now I'm just going to finish painting it up. Doesn't take long. And I'll just set that aside again to dry. But thankfully, chalk paint dries quickly. So that's a good thing. That's a plus. Okay, on this I'm taking my Apple Barrel Kelly Green paint, which is just an acrylic paint, and I'll paint this just one coat of my street sign, because I gotta make it that green. I kinda wanted a little bit darker green, but this is what I had on hand, so hey, it'll work. So, just paint it real quick, just one coat, and set that aside to dry. Now I'm taking this Santa ornament that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and at first I didn't want to use it because the beard looks kind of weird. One of my other subscribers that watched my haul when I hauled this said it looks like an octopus. And that when I looked at it, I thought, you know what? It does. So anyway, the reason why the beard is kind of odd is because there's this weird like threads holding the strands. And so I went in and cut them all off and fluffed up the beard and it helped. Okay, so now I'm taking this little stuffed animal, poor little guy. I use part of him to make my gnomes 
So now I'm using the rest of him. So his torso is going to be Santa's torso. <laughs> it's going to be a body transplant. <laughs> and I'm using his head after I've saved the eyes and ears. Put them in my scrap bucket. But I'm saving his head and I'm cutting it in half. And it's going to become Santa's legs. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the stuff that I do. All kinds of crazy stuff. But you know what? It works. <laughs> so I'm using more of my clips to help clip, clip everything so the glue will dry in place. And here's my other leg. Working on the glue and closing it up. And kind of alternate going back and forth. That way the glue will have time to dry. And this one started open again, so I added some more glue. This one glued pretty well, so I'm going to glue it onto him. And look, he's got a leg. <laughs> and look, he's got a second leg. And okay, they're not proportional. But you know what? Hey, you're not going to be able to notice because I'm about to dress him up. So I'm taking one of these scarves again that I used before for my Grinch um, arm and, and hat. And I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to give him some clothing. And I'm just going to glue it real quick. Glue it onto him. And I'm using my clips to get everything in place. And it works pretty well. I just have to be careful because this scarf is pretty thin. So, yes, it's definitely a potential to, to burn yourself when you use something that's thin. Just got to be careful. So now I'm going to add another remnant piece to put on his back. First I wasn't going to finish off the back, but then I thought, well, why not? So now I'm going to use my little ladybug vacuum to pick up all the fuzz because when you cut this stuff, it makes a mess, it makes a big mess. So I'm going to cut more of this fabric to give him some pants. And again, I'm going to go in with the glue, glue one side, glue the other side, and kind of mend the area that doesn't have anything. And I'll do the same to the other side, just glue it together. And his little bottom is open, and you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> oh, he's, we're not going to see it. So now I'm taking uh, a paint pen that I had, a white paint pen, and I'm going to write on there, Miracle on 34th Street for the sign. So that's going to be the sign that's going to be near Santa. And I'm trying to finish up Mr. Santa now. So now I'm taking some black felt, and I'm giving him some boots. So I'm going to glue those onto him real quick. Yes, who would have thought? Santa head and a stuffed animal body to make a Santa? So now I'm giving him some shoes and all it is is just a round piece of felt that I'm putting down. And I'm taking some white felt and giving him a little portion for the front of his jacket and some more black felt for his belt. And I'm going to use some washi tape, some gold washi tape to make his buckle real quick. And that goes so quick, you'll probably miss it if you blink. There it is. <laughs> okay. And there's my Santa. And there he is with his sign and his chair and a couple letters. Because, you know, all those letters. And added some embellishments, some ponsedias and a gift and a candy cane. And there he is. There's my Kris Kringle from Miracle on 34th Street. Thanks again, Sue, from Discovering the Art of Living for hosting this challenge. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. And I hope you guys like this. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And please hit that bell button so you'll be notified when I upload a video. And so until my next video, please stay he healthy, safe, and strong and warm. And have a great weekend. Bye-bye.